Hey everybody! So today I am going to review CoverGirl Classic Color Blush and I got it in the color Iced Plum. Comes in a very sleek looking case like this. When I first bought this blush and I opened the package it came apart in two pieces and I was like, oh no, is it broken? No, it's not broken. <laughs> That's the way it comes and you have to assemble it yourself, which it wasn't difficult to put together, but it just kind of threw me for a minute because I've never owned one of these blushes before. So at first I thought that there was a problem, but there wasn't. Okay, so you get eight grams of product in this blush and that is what it looks like. So that is a, that's a lot of blush. Okay, and there's a mirror on the other side right here. Good size mirror. It takes up pretty much the whole size of the cover. It comes with a little brush, but I don't use it. Um, so I thought that this was a beautiful color. It's sort of a cross between plum and rose. It's like a rosy plum. And just like I said in my last CoverGirl blush video, I did not have anything like this. I mean, you would think that I would. What I'm starting to realize looking through my blushes is that it looks like I bought the same blushes over and over and over again in terms of color. And God, I hate to admit this, but a lot of them I don't really like that much. Like, why did I keep buying that color? Um, or those colors, I should say, because I'm not really that fond of a lot of my blushes. And I think it's just because that's what was popular, but I strongly advise you to find the colors that suit you. Don't just buy what other people are loving or whatever, because, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different skin tones, different undertones, um, and really, what is popular is not necessarily going to look good on you. And that's what I think I was doing was I was buying a lot of things that everybody was raving about, but it just, you know, they weren't working for me. So I've been trying lately to um, really get some unique colors of all different things in my collection and try to customize it more towards my own coloring. So anyway, so I thought this might work good. I do have it on today. Uh, plum is a color that I've really neglected, I feel, throughout the years. Um, I never really had a lot of plum anything, but now I have a lot of plum lipsticks and some plum nail polishes and um, now I have a plum blush. I did have a couple of plum blushes already, but they were more like purple plum, which I feel like this rosy plum is a lot uh, better of a color for me. So anyway, back to the review. If you saw my CoverGirl Cheekers blush review, then you may recall, um, this this one is three grams and this other one the classic color is eight grams now that's a lot more product but the difference in price not significant at all less than a dollar difference in price so if you're looking for a bargain i would say go with one of these color blushes because you're going to get so much more for your money now, of course, a lot of times when you're selecting a blush, it's not so much the quantity that you're after as it is the color. So these, what I did was I wanted to try out a couple of CoverGirl blushes. So I got the Ice Plum in the large classic and I got the classic pink in the smaller one. So really I was just going for the colors, but the classic color blush is a much better deal money-wise. And just like with the CoverGirl Cheekers blush that I reviewed, the texture of these blushes is so coarse. I mean, when you touch it, I mean, you can't feel what I'm feeling, but it's just, it's very, it's very hard that their products, CoverGirl's products in general, are not finely milled at all. However, when you swatch it, 
that's the color you get and you know you can you know probably not going to be able to see this that well I didn't do a very good swatch but no they're not the most pigmented blushes in the world but you can easily build it up I think that for the price and I think I paid I hate to quote prices because every store prices products differently and even you know different parts of the country prices can be so different but I think I paid around 484 for this I think it was around that and I got it at Target um, and Target's makeup prices are a little bit lower than just regular drugstores but um yeah that you can build this cover color up quite easily so I wouldn't really worry about the pigmentation um, and I wouldn't worry about the the texture of it because once it's on your face once it's been applied it's not really gonna matter what it feels like because then you won't really be able to feel it anymore anyway it's just gonna blend in with your skin I think this um, is more important even with blushes I mean when you think about it blush is just giving your face a flush of color it's just giving your cheeks a flush of color so it's not really that important what the the texture or the price or anything like that because it doesn't have to do a lot if you get what I'm saying whereas if I was gonna uh, spend a little bit more money on something I would rather spend it maybe on my foundation or my eyeshadow or my lipstick or something that's going to have a lot of different nuances and complexities to it that's going to make a difference but with blush I don't think it really matters what you get for blush so I would go more for you know a specific color that's going to suit your skin tone but anyways yeah um do I like this would I repurchase it absolutely I I like this a lot um, I'm not put off by the texture I think the color is gorgeous it, it, it's very unique uh, they call it a classic color blush but it, that must mean that the other companies aren't doing classic colors because uh, I don't see a lot of this color in other brands I have nothing like this um, yeah I like the packaging it's it's kinda nice and it's it's pretty sturdy it's a lot more sturdy than the cheekers blushes are um, so yeah I would I would recommend this I like it a lot it blends very easily into the skin and uh, I think that's it I why am I getting the feeling like I'm forgetting something that I wanted to say about this now I think that's pretty much it if I think of anything else I'll just write it in the description box so that is it for today you guys and I'll see you next time Bye.